Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Let's Check Out Popeye for the NES. I really had no idea this game existed until now. Yeah, so I mean, I'm familiar with the cartoon when I was a kid. All I remember is that Popeye has a girlfriend named Olive Oil, this anorexic woman, and then this buff, that buff guy in purple tries to steal her from him all the time or something and then he gets her back by eating spinach and becomes Superman or something. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's a pretty fun cartoon to watch when I was a kid, but I never knew they had a game of it and apparently it came out in, I think, uh... 86 for the NES, but on the screen it said 82. I don't know if it came out in the arcade first or what, but... It looks like... Uh... So far, it kind of looks like Donkey Kong gameplay here a little bit and... So it's my first time playing it, so let's see how this is going to go. It's probably going to be short and sweet, but... Let's see here. Uh, so I, by the demo screen, I can tell that's spinning, so now I guess I can hit him or knock him off the screen. Oh, there we go. 3,000 points for doing that, and... So I guess you have to go up there and rescue her, I guess? I don't know what... Okay, I guess you're supposed to cast these hearts. Okay, my little Popeye meter up there is filling up. I guess you gotta fill it up all the way to get to the next level while avoiding, um, whatever his name is on the villain, whatever his name was in the freaking cartoon. I think that's Jay. Jay makes an appearance in this game. What the heck? I guess all you do in the game is kind of disappointing. I thought you actually go through different side-scrolling stages. And, okay, what's going on here? Whoa, what the heck did he just do? What? How the heck did I just die? Oh, okay. I guess because the heart's landing in the water. They can't land in the water, or you, if you don't get them in time, you die. Yes, I don't know, this game is kind of weird, but at least it does relate to the cartoon. I mean, you're, I guess, trying to capture her heart, or hearts. And you gotta keep her away from that big bully. Looks like Tugboat from the WWF a long time ago. And I wish you were a Shockmaster mask and just fall through a wall somewhere. <laughs> Shoot, I gotta get the heart down there. Ah, there we go. Nice, alright, well I complete the first stage. On to the second stage here. Oh, I was, I was, I was, ouch, they just did a dragon punch on me. And knocked me in the water. So I guess, oh, all the stages look different, that's cool. I thought they all would look Donkey Kong-ish in the same stage, but different, like constructed differently. What the heck did- Ah, oh, I forgot he actually moved faster in, in different areas of the screen. Well, that's game over already. Well, let me try- let me try one player game B, see what that's like. Okay, I guess he's trying to sing to her and win her love, what she's feeling at. I don't know what Popeye has in her, she's freaking anorexic, annoying. Oh, I get the spinach. I guess this, I guess the cartoon wanted to have a moral to the story of eat your spinach, kids, and make you strong. At least this game has a Popeye music in it. That's pretty cool. Okay, well now in one player game B, you got more obstacles here. You guys got skulls chasing after you. Here we go, skulls. Oh. Alright, I gotta capture the hearts. It's, it's, it makes it harder to capture all the hearts because you know you got the skulls getting in the way. Watch out for the skulls. Ow, oh, well, yeah, I need to take my own advice there. Halfway done through the stage.
Dang it, I wish the freaking hearts wouldn't just freeze in midair like that. I wish they'd still fall down. Just because eat the spinach don't mean things have to freeze. I got the spinach power, not the freeze power. Yeah, so Nintendo, I believe, made this game. Uh, probably around the same time, right before Donkey Kong? I'm not sure. Oh, now uh, Biff starts throwing freaking uh, fireballs at you. Or fire sticks. St. Carino's throwing fire sticks at me. And. Shut up, I hear it. Got some Donkey Kong sound effects here as I win Olive Oriole's love again. Head back to this stage again. Freaking Ho Hogan Hogan Alley's esque stage. Whoa! He's getting serious now. Now he's wearing yellow. I guess he's supposed to be tougher now. Oh, well, I guess he is. He just killed me. Okay, this is my last life. What the heck is that green thing in the corner, top right corner up there? Who is that? What is that? I don't know, but now I got spinach power or ECW mode for a few seconds. What if there's a game genie code where you can the spinach never runs out, but then if that happens, you'll never beat the stage because can't capture the hearts or in this stage is musical notes now. What the heck? Well, hopefully I can go out on a high note. Oh, hurry up. Ah, oh, that's music to my ears. Wish you could jump, but you can't. Freaking large butt can jump, and I can't. Ah, oh, well, that's it. Game over for me. Well, there you go. Popeye for the NES. Uh, nothing much else to say about it. I uh, didn't get too far in it, but I mean... I pretty much got the gist of the game. Uh... It's, it's pretty simple fun. It's like Donkey Kong. So I guess back then it would have been, if I would have discovered this game back then, it would have really been fun to play. But uh, so yeah, I mean, so far, not a bad game. Uh, yeah, so I guess I recommend you check it out for just for a, I guess for two player. I never played two player. I wonder who the second player would be. I guess uh, just it's not two player simultaneous action. But anyway, uh, eh, not a bad game. Uh, just simple fun and yeah huh, there you go I guess so far I gave it maybe a 6.5 or 7 out of 10 alright I was, I was kind of disappointed though but I wish it would have been like you know I thought maybe maybe been a side scrolling action game but nope but oh well anyway that's it I'm out of here I'm Ron Moore God bless take care